Hello! Welcome back! I'm doing a little bit of a different video today. Uh, it's not really my usual thing and I'm not sure if I'll do it very often, but it's mail day. So I've got some loot. I don't really get that much in the mail, I don't think. So I don't know how often I'll do these videos, but I have something pretty special that I want to show you from Black Milk. I'm trying out a new focus thing to see if it can keep track of me, so fingers crossed that it works. I don't know if this is a really good background, it'd be better if my cat was actually on the tree, but she doesn't really like to sleep on it. She's kind of behind the camera right now. Let's get to unwrapping stuff, because that's why you're here. Maybe. Or maybe you just didn't know what this video was going to be, because it's not like my normal stuff. I'm going to need the scissors, because the tear thing doesn't work properly. Luckily I am prepared. Goodness, this is really sealed all the way down. Oh, here we go. I know what it is, obviously, because I ordered it. I got it with a gift certificate from a friend. Bill, shout out to Bill, thank you. Always comes with a nice big sticker, which is cool. I have kind of a collection of them now because I don't have anywhere to put them. And I have a few pairs of leggings. This is not leggings today. I'm so excited about this. I ordered this ages ago, but it came, took forever to come from Australia. Da -da -da. Yay! I'm so excited! I don't know, maybe this is a bit silly. It's not like the normal things I would wear. Black Milk had a collaboration with the Batman vs Superman movie, which I have not seen. I'm a huge Batman fan, obviously. But I've always felt weird about Batman vs Superman storylines. I, I feel like, even when I was a kid and I read the comics, it didn't make any sense to me as much as I love Batman. Superman's Superman. He has superpowers. Batman's just a guy. He's a really cool guy and he's super strong and he's ingenious in a way, but it's a silly fight. I saw, I think it was the most recent Superman movie, I forget what it was called, it came on Netflix recently and I watched it and it was so bad. The first half of the film was it was really great, like I loved the first half and then all of a sudden it was like a different movie and it was just all a CG fight for another hour which was kind of boring. Okay, I'm gonna try it on because I'm pretty excited about this. I've always wanted a Batman style six pack. <laughs> I don't know, always. Always wanted a Batman style six pack. So when I saw this, I knew I had to get it. I got it on the day it came out. It's just taken a long time to come. This is an extra small. I'm glad I got an extra small because it looked like on the model, like it was really big. I don't tend to wear my clothes that big. Okay, I'm gonna try it on. Oh, knocked over my coffee. I'm so excited about this. I wonder if I should take the tags out first. Yeah, I'm not sending this back. I mean, who would send this back? It's so cool. I'm so excited to have a Batman six pack. Oh my God. Oh my God. Maybe I'm overreacting a bit, but this is awesome. I'm so glad I have a monitor right here so I can see. I actually kind of like how it fits. It's definitely meant to be big. It's gonna be awesome in the summer. It lines up with my body perfectly. Look at this. Yeah, wow. Oh my god. I'm so excited. Let's show you this. This is even better than I hoped for. Wow. Look at the tool belt when it had real Batman tools in it. I can't think of any of the names of them right now because I'm so excited. Here's the back. Oh, it looks like I actually have muscles. I don't have muscles because I can't really build them like normal people. I'm so excited. It doesn't really go with these trousers. It's kind of, I expected it to be more black. It's kind of a, a blue black, I guess. I'm just so excited. I could say that over and over. Look how it lines up with my body. That's really surprising. It's very ribby. Look at those ribs. Batman's ribs. I never really wanted to be Batgirl. I always wanted to be Batman. That, that's my gender confusion there for you. Manifesting through Batman storylines <laughs> ever since I was a little kid. Same with Superman and Supergirl. I wasn't really into Supergirl. I wasn't actually really that into Superman. He's not really my kind of hero. I'm all about the dark, mysterious, <laughs> obviously. I'm just gonna sit here and 
I don't know, maybe this video is really boring, but I'm so excited. I can't believe how good it looks. I didn't, I honestly expected it to be more of a novelty thing that I didn't think I would really wear that much, but I think I might wear this all the time because it looks so awesome. It lines up with my, I can't get over it. I'm saying the same thing over and over again. Pretty excited. Okay, on to the next thing. You can just admire my pecs that don't really exist. But yeah, let's pretend I'm really buff. Not at all. I might cut that out because that was a bit weird. Okay, my magical scissors come apart, which is really useful for opening packages. Now the next thing, I wasn't sure if I would open it on camera because I feel a bit weird discussing makeup. It's not really something I talk about. Again, this is turning into a confessional. I didn't mean it to, but it's to do with my, the way I feel about my, my own gender, which is very confused at the best of times. I don't like to make a big deal about it, but I feel like any gender, wherever you are on the spectrum, should be able to wear makeup. I think even like the most masculine men should be able to wear makeup if they want to. And I'm sure hundreds of years ago, all genders wore makeup. And we've come to this really weird time where there's been a lot of liberation and we're slowly move well, crawling forward as a society. But at the same time, some things have been left in the past that like men wearing skirts, makeup and tights and all these things that now people are so judgmental about and just care about yourself. Don't care about what other people are doing. That's my, ooh. I don't usually order from Sephora because I like to go to the store and browse and try things out. Here's the little box. And look at this. I opened it up and on top there's a little, nice little bag, which is really useful, a little wash bag. That I did not expect. I feel like you get a better deal ordering online because I also noticed that you can choose samples. Even though I shop at Sephora a lot, they don't always give me samples. Sometimes they give me samples. Oftentimes they don't give you anything. But online you always get to choose three samples. So that's kind of cool. It's just a shame you don't really get to try out the makeup. But I guess I found out that you can send it back if it doesn't match your skin tone or things like that as long as it's almost nude condition. I think most of it's the samples. I only actually bought a couple things specifically. So I wanted a BB cream because I've heard so much about them. I don't really, I've never worn foundation or anything like that. It's not really my thing to have that flawless kind of complexion. You can see, yeah, my complexion, my makeup normally, it's just kind of, it's pretty minimal on my skin. But since I started making videos, things show up a little bit more and I've been a bit self-conscious about it. But when I looked through all the BB creams from the reviews, they, none of them sounded like they'd work with my skin, which is really combination and also really sensitive, hypersensitive. Just touching it, I'll show you, makes it go really right. I don't know if that's showing up actually. <laughs> oh yeah, there it is. Yeah, you just have to touch my skin, it goes really red. But this one had really good reviews for sensitive skin. And I used the Bare Minerals Mineral Foundation, so I thought I would try it. Because I know that their stuff works with my skin. So that's always nice. Complexion Rescue. Now, one of the other major reasons I got this is because it's also SPF 30, which I also sunburn really easily. Look how pale I am, I mean. Did you really need me to tell you that? <laughs> so let's have a, a quick look on my skin here. Oh, wow, it's very thick. It blends in really nicely. You're not gonna be able to see because it basically looks like my skin, so I'm not gonna bother showing you, but it's really silky, it's really nice. I like that this one, it says to apply with fingertips, which for me is a big, big plus. I'm not really a beauty expert or anything, which is why it's weird that I'm even making this video because this is not my thing at all. I taught myself makeup from a young age. I used to be a professional photographer and I did makeup a lot for those photo shoots on women. So I learned a lot doing that because I was working a lot with a lot of amateur models. So I would have to do their makeup for them, but I have three or four ways of doing makeup and that's it. I know makeup to suit different eye shapes and eye makeup and that's pretty much it. I don't know anything about skin makeup, eyebrow makeup I know. I don't know anything about skin makeup. This is hilarious that I keep looking down and every time I see this, Batman chest. This is awesome. I'm like talking about makeup and I'm like, yeah, I'm Batman, I'm Batman. I don't know if you've seen those videos. So the other thing I got was a sunblock. 
from Clinique. I really like Clinique's skin care stuff, so I thought I would try it. It's kind of expensive. And really good reviews for sensitive skin. I like the Dermalogica one, but it's way too expensive. Dermalogica stuff is really good for my skin because it's really good for hypersensitive skin. It's so expensive, so I was trying to find one that's a little bit less expensive. And this one's about half the price of the Dermalogica one, so... Oh, it's a good size, too. It's way bigger than the Dermalogica one. So probably like a quarter of the price. It says it's allergy tested and 100% fragrance free, which if you've got hypersensitive skin is really important. Got a new lip balm, which is really good because my current lip balm melted in the sun the other day. This is just Sephora brand. Let's have a quick try. This is turning out to be a much longer video than I, I meant it to. I'm not suddenly a beauty channel, I promise, because I would fail miserably. But maybe you'll find this interesting because maybe you're like me and you wear a little bit of makeup because you like how it makes your face look, but you're not really super into getting perfect skin and stuff because it's not really my thing. I feel like I, if I got into that, I'd be really obsessive about it and I would spend way too long doing my makeup and it kind of fatigues me, so it's a really nice shape. It's shaped like a lipstick, which is nice. Yeah, so it'll go on well. Okay, let's see. Ooh, that feels so good. My camera just focusing on my Batman chest. It's obsessed. It's kind of nice, it's a little bit glossy. Oh, it feels super moisturized. Oh, it's got beeswax in it. That's why it feels so good. Okay, the samples I got, a lot of the makeup samples I'm not that interested in, but they had the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, which I really like. It's actually just a little sachet. Once I got a little tub, I was hoping it was gonna be a little tub, but it's just the sachet. What can you do? Still, you could probably get three, two or three uses out of that, hopefully. Look at this, I bet my face is just gonna be blurry the whole video because my camera's obsessed with my Batman chest. I would be too. The other two samples I got were fragrances, and I like fragrances, but I'm really picky about them, but these were men's fragrances, and I kind of love men's fragrances, and I really like wearing them, but it's not something I'd like to spend money on, if that makes sense, but these samples always last me forever because I really feel like I personally don't need much fragrance. Oh my god, that's so good. Oh, it smells like really good shower gel. That's what I love about men's fragrances, is they smell like really good quality body cleaning products. Yeah, it's fruity, but like in a manly way, fresh. Yeah, really good shower gel or shampoo. This one's Gucci Guilty. Gucci Guilty, this one's called. Aromatic Bergamot, Noble Woody Oris, and Suave Musky Notes. Suave, that's me. I mean, look, how suave. <laughs> I, I've, I've had a lot of coffee, so that might explain why this is so different to my other videos. Okay, this one is Yves Saint Laurent. Oh, this one's a, a, a vaporizer, a spritzer. I think it's just called L'Homme. I don't really know that much about fragrances, just like makeup, I don't really follow that kind of thing. I'm gonna put this one on since it's a spritz. Ooh, that's actually really feminine, I think, anyway. It reminds me of fragrances from the 90s. Does that make sense? Like, do you remember when CK1 was all the rage? Well, I don't know if it was where you are, but in the UK, when I was in high school, everyone wore CK1, like everyone. It's that kind of unisex smell. Like it, it could smell really feminine or it could smell a little bit masculine, which really works for me, so that's nice. Yeah, score. You know how in the store they have the little things where they have like the sample size stuff? Well, they have that on the website too. Just like it pops up and it's, you might also be interested in this, that's only $5. And you're like, oh yeah, that's nothing compared to this thing that I just bought, so why not? I think these were only three too. They were on, on, they're just mini eyeliners. One is purple, which I never wear. I've always read that purple eye makeup makes green eyes greener, but I hate the color purple. Well, not hate it. It's just like my least favorite color after pink. <laughs> It's too close to pink. So I don't ever wear it, but I thought I'd try since it was so cheap. Oh, and this was, you know, Sephora has this points membership and this was the $100 point shaping facial lift. I don't think I really need this, but none of those rewards I ever really need, but I figure I might as well try because they just kind of rack up. Like right now I have like a thousand points because I never use them. Saying the word like too much, I blame the coffee. Apply preferably using Clarins manual auto lifting method. Who knows what that is? It's not very useful. Okay, 
that's it. I guess it's a bit of a haul. Um, it was more than I remember ordering. I guess because of all the samples, so. And got to see my awesome Batman chest. I'm so excited about this. I might live in this for a while. I've always wanted to look like Batman, so. Achievement unlocked. Thanks for watching, that was a little bit different. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I don't know if I'll do many more videos like this. Like I said, I don't get that much in the post, but maybe next time I will. Thanks for watching, bye.